taking reading. The second sub questions in paper three, question one is about taking reading from the given images, and then so use the data to do some calculations and then record all the information in a table. Therefore, there are three parts in this sub questions. Let's see this example. Measure the length of each ticker tape from diagram 1.2, 1 1.3, 1 1.4, 1 1.5, and 1.6 when a different height of block is being used. In this slide, I do not show the ticker tape, okay? So uh, actually in the questions, I give you a few pictures of uh, ticker tape. In each measurement, calculate the velocity using the formula below, okay, to give you a formula and then tabulate your result for H, S, and V in the space below. Okay, so as we say just now, there are three parts in these questions. The first one is uh, measure the length of each take tape. And usually, uh, these ones will give you two marks. And then the second one is calculate the velocity. And usually, this will give you two, another two marks. And the last one is uh, tabulate your result. And usually, this will give you... Uh, another two marks. So in total, there are six marks in these questions. In this video, I'm going to focus on the manual uh, taking reading from the given pictures. Okay, so I'm going to show you a few past year questions. Okay, this is uh, 2010 paper 3 question 1b. Uh, you are asked to take reading from a Werner caliper. I'm not going to teach you how to use Werner calipers here. Uh, if you want to learn, then you can go to YouTube to search for the video. There's a lot of video, and then I also make a few videos uh, to discuss how to take reading from Werner caliper and upload to the YouTube. 2010 uh, is about uh, taking readings by using Werner caliper. Um, 2011, taking reading from a spring balance. For this one, we must be very careful, okay? So you can see that uh, there's a reading here, okay? But then so we have a problem here because we can read from 9 if we can read for 8, okay? If we read from 9, this looks like a 9.2. But if we read from 8, then it will be 8.8. .8. So which one is correct? So we need to see from where the measurements start. In this case, the measurements start from the top. So we measure from the top. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So therefore, we measure from the top. So the reading is 8.8, .8, but not 9.2. Uh, so we need to be very careful about this because uh, sometimes the reading starts from the top and sometimes the reading starts from the bottom. So here, they only show you a small part of it and sometimes it confuses you. Eh? So uh, whether the reading is 9.2 or 8.8. .8. .8. So we need to check from where we start uh, the measurement or start the reading. Uh, another one, so this is 2012. Okay, so uh, we take the readings by using ruler. When we take reading by using ruler, we need to be very careful about where do we start the measurements. It, here we start from 2 cm, okay, and the end at 16 cm. Therefore, the measurement is 14 cm, 16 minus 2, 14 cm. Okay, so sometimes the student just take the reading here, 16, and then straight away put that this is 16 C, and then uh, they will get the wrong answer. So taking reading from ruler, we, we need to be careful because not necessary every time we start from zero. We can start from anywhere in the ruler. So we must minus out those difference, okay, when we uh, record the reading. Okay, 2013, uh, this is a micrometer screw gauge. I'm not going to teach you how to use that, so if you want to learn, then you go to uh, YouTube uh, to search for the videos that teach you how to take the reading. 2014, wood meter. Okay, wood meter. Wood meter is easy. We can take the reading directly from the uh, image. Uh, normally, they will start with a zero error, so this is a zero error, okay? 2015, a 2015 also taking reading from a ruler. So if you see here, the reading can be uh, 1.7 or 2.3. Since uh, we start from the bottoms, okay, so the reading is 1.7 but not 2.3. Okay, again, this one is also taking reading from ruler, okay, from the ruler. So uh, we start from the top, okay, so the reading is 21.1 uh, cm. 21.1 cm, but not uh, 22.9. And also, just now, I remind you that 
when we take reading from ruler, we need to check from where it starts. So here it shows that the reading start from four, not zero. So therefore, after you get your measurements, you get your reading, you must minus four cm. Okay, a lot of students make mistake on this. So you need to be very careful when uh, you use ruler to take measurements. You need to know from where you start uh, the measurements. Okay. In this case, we start from 4 cm. So every reading must minus 4 cm. So that's about uh, taking reading. In next video, I'm going to teach you how to tabulate your data.